Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Commander Keen 1, an Invasion of the Vorticons, Marooned on Mars for the PC, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, this Christmas special game was requested to me by YouTube user Sephiroth1204, no I don't want to quit. And he was uh, one of the guys that was known for doing the Commander Keen series, and he wanted me to do it as well. Well, he originally requested the first game, but since I have the other four games, I might do them sometime down the road. Like, not immediately right at one right after the other, but you'll definitely see all Commander Keen games. I did get it on Steam, and you can find it on a 3D Realms website, I believe, or on goodoldgaming.com as well. So, let's take a look at the story, shall we? Billy Blaze, eight-year-old genius working diligently in his backyard clubhouse, has created an interstellar starship from old soup cans, rubber cement, and plastic tubing. So yeah, basically, he developed his own ship while the babysitter was asleep, blah blah blah. He turns himself into a Commander Keen Defender of Earth just by wearing his brother's football helmet. In this episode, aliens from the planet Vorticon 6 find out about the eight-year-old genius and plan his destruction. Yeah, apparently aliens are very jealous of him. Now he's got to go and uh, recover his ship because the aliens stole vital parts of it. So here's the parts that we need to get back. Yeah, the ship is called Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket. Yeah, best name ever. Joystick from your brother's video game manual flight controller. Car battery from your mom's car. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have noticed that the car was not working. Vacuum cleaner from the kitchen, ion propulsion unit with carpet height adjustment. Ever clear from your dad's liquor cabinet fuel. Yeah, I don't really think they're great parents for not keeping the uh, liquor under control or locked up. So yeah, we just get all this information on Mars, blah blah blah. One-eyed Martians that seem to be extremely friendly called Yorps. We're free from enslavement and the Gargs. <laughs> Of course, I'm guessing we have to deal with the Gargs, because they are angry. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of stories, so I'm not going to read through all that. The only Commander Keen that I used to own as a kid was 4, and that was a pretty awesome game. I never played 2, 3, or 5 yet, and only some of 1. So, let's get this started, shall we? Okay, apparently you have a limited amount of lives. You can uh, press uh, whatever button it is you can actually save. I'm sure you can just look at the controls there. Yeah, I want to overwrite it. You can continue this game from the main menu next time you play. Press A key. Okay. I was pressing keys for some reason. It wouldn't work. So yeah, I got all my controls mapped to my Logitech USB controller because I don't really like playing with a keyboard. It has to depend on certain games. Unfortunately, I cannot shoot, and I don't really have the pogo stick yet. You do get a pogo stick later on, but not yet, because obviously you need to find it. The only way you can kill enemies is if you shoot them, which you need ammo for. The balloons are strictly for points, and I might as well just get that ray gun now. Okay, so let's take a look at how many shots we have. Five, okay. So you do have a limit amount of ammo. So try to shoot only the enemies you feel you have to shoot, and ignore the ones that you don't. Alright, so far so good. The jumping is very responsive, I'm not gonna lie. There is a slight delay, like whenever you hit the jump button, so be sure to keep that in mind. And I picked up some kind of book, whatever that does. I suppose I can just press F1, and it gives you, like, the list of controls there if you're using your keyboard. Control is jump, alt is to use your pogo stick if you have one. Control and alt at the same time fires your ray gun. So that's why I use the controllers, so like a map control and alt together at the same time. F3 allows you to redefine those keys. Spacebar is your status screen, F1 is help. F2, you can turn your sound on and off. F5 is save the game, escape is quit. If you're on the Mars map, you may be blocked by a city, shrine, or other obstacle. You must enter the city, press control or button 1 if you're using your joystick, and finish it before proceeding. When you enter a city, you can get things by simply running into them. You cannot pass through a door. If you cannot, there may be a key card that the door requires. This key card will be the same color as the door. And those rewards that I've been getting, I thought they were balloons, but they're actually lollipops. 
give you 100 points. Soda, yeah, Pepsi trademark much. 200 points. The book that says Cam, or whatever it's supposed to say, is 1,000 points. Teddy Bear is 5,000. You get an extra keen every 20,000 points. Commander Keen says get to episode 2 before the Earth explodes. Yeah, we're gonna do episode 2 later. But for now... Can I go through that door? Yes, I can. Oh, and apparently that was everything. I guess I could have explored it later on. Let me check out this here shrine. Doesn't look like it's required by any stretch of the imagination. And if you can't finish it, you might be able to continue on. It is too bad that you cannot read the standard galactic alphabet, human. That eh, doesn't seem that bad to me. But anyways, I'm just gonna explore this area before we even leave the shrine. Okay, it doesn't seem that important. You can probably go back to it as many times as you want. The first area that I went through, obviously you can't. Oh, that was seemed like a bit of a one-off. Alright, let's check out this base. Heh, <laughs> funny. And he just dropped right into the spikes like a moron. Seems a bit morbid, you can actually see their remains after you shoot them dead. So some of these levels will be a bit short. Some of them might be long, like for example this one I'm going to need a yellow card key. Yep, you need to die too. So, I gotta look for one. Hopefully I can find a pogo stick as well. Okay, try my best to avoid these plants because they will hurt me. I figure I'll just try to get as many points as possible because they do give me extra lives. I believe you can only, if you do a save, it's only like before a level. Like you can't really just put a save in the middle of the level and continue from the middle of the level. It'll only just send you back to the beginning. Or before you even enter that stage. So don't think you can just, like, uh, I don't know, save state your way throughout this entire game, because that's not possible. You can only use saves, like, really in between levels. Kind of like most DOS games at that time. Two slices of pizza? Yep, it's worth it. Okay, I won't be able to get to that teddy bear, though. It looks like I'm gonna need the pogo stick. Question is, where am I gonna find it? I don't really remember if the p pogo stick is only available for one stage where you find it, or if you find it in one stage, you can keep it for the rest of the game. Yes, we'll find out soon enough. If I can find it, which I haven't yet. I figured I'd just try to save my ammo and just let that enemy pass by. Sound effects, I, I do admit, are kind of grating, but it was an old PC game at the time. They didn't really exactly have the best sound technology. There's the yellow car key that I was looking for. Let's see what else I can find here. Huh. Little man that looks like a Nazi. Okay, how's it going? I'll grab the lollipops and probably get diabetes by the time I finish this stage. And Okay, there's the exit over there. So, once I open the yellow door, I should be able to get to the red card key. It's very possible at this point. So, yep, looks like we have to work our way back down again. Hopefully I can find the pogo stick or even more ammo. Because I only got, like, what, three shots left. It's too bad you can't really just hold down to look down. Some of the jumps could be blind, so be careful about that. But it's nothing you can't handle, really. Oh, good, there's more ammo. So how many shots do I have? Eight. Yep, every gun gives you five. So that's not too bad. It could be much worse, I can only give you one. But at least they're very generous for ya. And there's really no point going over there. Try not to drop down too much. I mean, I just hate that every time he drops down or falls off, you have to make that. <laughs> Don't really need to fight that enemy, so I'll just grab the red card key and then work my way back up again. And this level seems pretty simple. I don't think you can actually go back to levels you already did if you want to get more points or do some more exploring or even see if you missed the pogo stick. 
I don't think that would put the pogo stick in an area where you can easily miss it. I think you would have to progress at some point in the game, and then you'll find the pogo stick. Otherwise, that'd just be cheap. Because what if you require it? You could actually screw yourself. And nobody wants that. Oh, except for this guy. Ah, oh, he jumped over it. Heh, <laughs> he's dead. Okay, so how many shots out of two? Looks like I picked up some kind of battery from my mom's car. Alright, so what other levels are there to do that we can get to at this point? This must be the pogo stick. Awesome. Heh, <laughs> you can actually read pogo there on that door. Alright, so I'll definitely save again. And we'll check out this city. Yeah, just by holding the jump button, you can actually jump higher. So, I could probably get all these. Well, most of these. Some of them look way too high to reach. I mean, you can try and get as much uh, momentum as possible, but... It's not gonna work that way. Yeah, you just press the same button that you use to activate the pogo stick to deactivate it. Can I jump on enemies this way? Yes, you can, actually! So rather than shoot them, you can just use your pogo stick on them. That'll save me a lot of ammo. But it only stuns them, it doesn't kill them. Maybe you gotta do it more than once? Let's test it out. Whoa! I got bumped around. Hmm. Okay, so apparently they don't really kill you, they just stun you around. And yeah, just using your pogo stick will not work as effectively as you would think. Okay, that was just a barrel. I thought it'd be like more points. But at least I got the yellow card key. Oh, you can actually just jump on them without even using the pogo stick. Okay. So really, you don't have to worry about these enemies at all. It's the, it's the bigger ones you might have to concern yourself with. Because they might actually have the ability to kill you. Like this big guy, for instance. Uh, is there going to be an easy way to get to that ray gun? Yes, there is. Good. Wait, could I just bounce my way up here? No. Okay, there was an invincible ceiling. Okay. I thought I'd actually break the game of some sorts. Okay, there's the red card key. I have a feeling I'm going to need it real soon. Alright, there we go. I'm pretty sure these things will still kill me. No sense trying to jump on them. Oh! Get the pizza! Keen, thank you. Oh! There, thanks for creating an opening for me. So that'll save me a lot of ammo knowing I don't really have to shoot these guys because they won't kill me. Reddy, on the other hand, might. So no sense trying to jump on him be too risky otherwise. Okay, four shots kills him. Um, should I definitely go for those points? No. I'll probably get killed. Okay, there's another impassable area. Let's see where this leads. If anything, these little shrines are probably just for flavor text or maybe extra points. Uh, can I make this? There, that'll save me a lot of trouble. I mean, why bother jumping over the fire? The teleporter in the ice will send you to the dark side of Mars. Okay. I'll check that out shortly. It's probably somewhere I can find around here. Is this the area? No, it has something to do with ice. Wait a minute, am I on ice right now? Hmm. Can't really notice it, so I don't think so. Oh! I'm on to you. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot of good stuff from what I can see. I'm almost to the top of the stage itself. Oh, jeez. 
Let's try that again, because I want to get that ammo. Jumping from side to side, while it's okay, it's a little imperfect. But really, that's my fault of not being used to the game mechanics. Okay, this stuff doesn't hurt you. It's nothing more than uh, some kind of grassy bridge. Did I just get two of them at the same time? That was a nice shot. Very well timed, if you ask me. And is there anything else over here? Okay, gotta find a way to get to the teddy bear if I really care about the points that much. Oh, touching the bottom of that bridge will kill you, though. Okay, lesson learned. Let's try that again. Almost landed right in the spikes. That would have been bad. Why don't I check out the bottom side of the map first? Kind of wish you could read those signs, but you can't. Because I wonder what they would say. Would they just give you warnings? Or would they just be like a little flavor text? That had to be the best shot that guy could possibly have ever done. It's like, just wow, that was so perfect! It's like he knew exactly when to shoot! That, 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 that takes a lot of skill to be able to do that. Like, as soon as I land, before I even hit the ground, the shot was fired, and he got me. That's very awesome reaction time. And at least you don't lose your pogo stick, which is great. So I have a feeling I'm going to need it for the rest of the game. I can still do without that annoying damn sound of... Oh! That was so close. Apparently that's a little area. Don't even think about it, mister. I should probably focus on killing that guy whenever I see him. <laughs> oh, I couldn't really escape that. What's gonna happen if I run out of Keens, anyway? Do I have to start the whole game over? Good thing I saved with all these lives. I wonder what would exactly happen, because I mean, you start the beginning of the level regardless. So, really, what's the point? There's gotta be some catch to all this, though. Let me shoot multiple times. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, again with that accuracy! He just knows! Well, luckily I saved with all these laws, so let's see what happens if I do commit suicide numerous times. Will I have to start over from the beginning? Or will I just lose all my points? I have no keens left. I'm not gonna save now. I'll just reload my save file. Congratulations, blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah, I'm very juvenile. Oh, so you actually have to continue from the very beginning. But, I mean, at, at least I got a, a load file. I entered it as one. Alright, so, I'm going to stop the video here, and then the next episode, we're going to try this level again, and I'm probably going to try to avoid that robot. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.